So it is the big news story of the morning. The Palace is facing huge questions after that Mother's Day image was drawn by four, as I said, prominent photo agencies over concerns it would be against their rules that it's been manipulated, for goodness sake. Well, this image was shared by Catherine yesterday, taken by William. It's the first time she's been seen undergoing ab after undergoing abdominal surgery. But there appears to be a glitch on the left arm of Princess Charlotte, prompting the picture agencies to withdraw the image in line with their regulations over manipulated images. Well, joining us again is Sarah Hewson, Talk TV's royal editor. Welcome back, Sarah. In the time, the hour since we've last spoken, I've been spotting so many more inconsistencies yes. with this photograph. It's, it's absurd. Yes, there's one around the zip of the Princess of Wales's uh, jacket as well that's been picked up. There are multiple uh, areas of concern. And, and the thing that is a problem for Kensington Palace now is you can't dismiss this as the word of conspiracy uh, theorists. This is four leading international news agencies, Reuters, Getty Images, the Associated Press, Agence France Press, all saying that they have withdrawn this photo and asked all of their clients all around the world to pull the photo from their publications because they are concerned that this image has been manipulated by the source. And the source of this image is Kensington Palace. Kensington Palace telling us yesterday that the photograph was taken by Prince William in Windsor last week. And can you talk us through the, the di different implications here? Why would they have photoshopped um, this kind of image? And what does this mean for, for relations going forward between Kensington Palace and the press? Well. That is the really key issue here. And Kensington Palace cannot ignore this because it's about trust. It's about being able to believe mm. in our institutions and the word of the monarchy. This is the future king, uh, the future uh, queen, uh, and an image that was so important. They had to have known that this image was going to be poured over in the greatest detail because it is the first authorised image we've had of the Princess of Wales since Christmas Day when she was seen walking to church in Sandringham. And so to have an image which is not just comment on the internet, which is now being questioned by agencies is a really big problem for them. They declined to comment last night. We've had nothing as yet today. But the longer that goes on, the more it pours fuel onto the fire mm. of those conspiracy theorists. And it puts them in the mainstream. It's put them right on the front pages. Let's bring in Royal Biographer Norman Baker. Norman, good to have you back on, my friend. Um, What's your reaction to this? I mean, it, it, it's, it's extraordinary. Uh, whether you're a royalist or not, this would look to be a massive own goal. And merely fuel, as Sarah says, all those conspiracy theories that have been going around the internet, whilst this poor woman I've been saying for three months is, is, is having an operation, should be allowed to be, you know, kept peacefully and, and, and whatever. But no, they put this out, torn to shreds, man. Well, they have put it out, that's right. So they brought this upon themselves. You know, manipulation from the royal family on photographs is not new. This is a new form of manipulation by changing the photograph itself. But let's remember that there's been a, a ban, effectively, on uh, on news agencies and, and photographers picking up pictures of the royal family's children. But they're very happy to release pictures themselves. So, in fact, what they've been doing over decades now has been using the press, the press, the media, as a kind of free PR agency to put out pictures that they want the public to see while uh, making sure that the pictures they don't want them to see are hidden. For example, pictures of them going shooting, because all the children, the royal family children, are taught to shoot. Those pictures are never released, of course. And, Norma, what, what do you think is going to change going forward? Could this be a watershed moment for the royal family in the way in which they release photographs to the press? You know, Or, or do you think potentially we're going to find out that even more images from the past have been photoshopped? Do you think there's going to be even more um, scrutiny over photographs? Yes, I think what will happen now is that some people will now go through judiciously and look at previous photographs to see what's been shown photoshopped in the past, yeah. if that's been the case. Of course, Prince Andrew famously claimed that his uh, his photograph with Virginia Guthrie was uh, was photoshopped. Um, no one's ever proved that to be the case, of course, but he, he alleged that himself. So the idea has already been within the royal family. Uh, I think it will mean in the future that the the desks, the news desks of newspapers will take, with a pinch of salt, photographs that come from the royal family, and so they should do. 
Um, Sarah, you know, because I've told you that my old man worked for the Queen Mother for 40 years, and I remember him saying something to me, which I said to people years ago, and they didn't like it. He said um, the mystique died in his mind when the Queen Mother died, and all members of the royal family, starting with Prince Charles, Ads, and Lady Diana Spencer, systematically have used the press for their own ends. This might be an example of it coming back and biting them, because if this is um, just a poor lady who's ill for whatever reasons and has had surgery, then surely it would have made much more sense to have kept Stumm. Now, we balance against that because of who she is, they probably wanted to put out there, but this, as Nick says, just exacerbates the, the furore over what's going on. And, and I've been reading whilst we've, we're, we're in that break at the top of the hour. I mean, some of the conspiracy theories are outrageous, man. Yeah. And then you start thinking, well, is it just got a wedding ring on? Am I being stupid? That, yes, could be because she's had surgery. But are you seriously going to... And if it isn't, by the way, a picture of her this weekend, when, when else has she had a wedding ring off, for example? And that's why this image, if it is right that it has been manipulated, is such a big problem yeah. for them. Because you can only put rational explanations mm. to the conspiracy theories if you believe that what you're being presented with mm. by Kensington Palace is true accurate representation. Now, I don't have a problem with the Prince of Wales taking a photograph no. of his family or the Princess of Wales taking Do a you photograph have a problem with of her children. Because it. actually, I think that, you know, if you want to maintain privacy and for the children you want to maintain some normality, mm. That's fine. I do have a problem with photoshopped images. Now, we don't know how this has happened, whether this is human error, a, a cock-up rather than, than a conspiracy theory, but it is certainly giving weight mm. to those who are asking increasingly uh, difficult questions now, and, and I really think they need to get a grip on this quickly. Norman, just quickly, what do you think the next step will be for Kensington Palace? Surely they have to respond, and what do you think they will respond with? Well, you've got to come clean. The best strategy in this situation is to come clean and say, yes, it was done by whoever did it. Uh, they may say it wasn't done with their knowledge, for example, but to actually admit it's happened because it clearly has happened. And uh, silence just breeds further questions. So they need to admit this in the as best they can and probably apologise to the press for releasing this photograph. It, it, it's not going away, and there will be people tuning in this morning going, oh, come on, with everything that's going on in the world. But the royal family is so central to this country. Whatever your views, whether you're a royalist or you're a republican, um, it just seems, Sarah, to sum up, as Nick said, a massive and a very unnecessary own goal, right? Yeah, and, and, of course, there are so many people who have been desperate to see a photograph of the mm. Princess of Wales as proof that she's doing well, to see her recovering. And so many people were getting in touch with me yesterday, thank goodness, mm. wonderful to see her. I didn't think well. anything of There it. are others who oh. have uh, less... Uh, positive uh, thoughts about this and there are others who would like to see an end to the monarchy and you know those conspiracy theories have been getting louder and louder and louder and, and this is really really problematic and it no longer it's no longer a conspiracy theory to say that Kensington Palace are trying to cover up something I'm not saying that she's you know what her illness is etc but they're surely trying to cover up but at that's least my, that's my problem what they're yeah. wearing but that's the my problem the yeah, phrase no, it that may you be that just somebody used is just trying to make this but, image look slightly better but, but you know, that's not like photoshopping no. does happen we know it happens but with a photo of this yeah. importance and this significance given that we have seen nothing of the Princess of Wales given the concerns there are yeah. around her health you just cannot get away but, with but that. Nick's right cover up now everybody's thinking cover up. that Always you didn't need you didn't need to send a photograph out you, you could say my wife is sick she's having her privacy and I'm not bowing down to you lot but by doing it massive problem